New merope eruptions may eventually lead to the dome collapse in this uh, stratovolcano. Uh, merope has erupted now for almost a week. And now what we can see is that every time there is an eruption, a lot of material, a lot of mass is removed from the flanks of the volcano. On one side is especially more dangerous. These are the sides toward the west, as we can see. Sometimes between the quiet periods, that is it. We have some eruption at the top of the volcano from the main crater. But mostly it is on the flanks where I showed you on the side. There are removal of the mass from the volcano, as you can see. This removal of the mass, gradually removing the pressure, reminds me of what we saw in the St. Helens. Very similar, it looked like a Merapi in a miniature version, or a bigger version. Then we had the collapse of the side, which removed the mass from the top of the volcano, so the magma underneath immediately could rise. And when it rose and melted the ice and the snow, it led to this explosion. Very impressive explosion. We have a living example of this in the form of the mountain Shiveloch in the Kamchatka of Russia in the uh, Indo-Pacific Ring of Fire. This volcano very similar to Merope, very similar to St. Helens at this stage now. To the right you can see the dome collapse has happened. The, the, the volcano has lost its uh, right side completely. In the center, you see the viscous dome is forming. It's just lava spewing out. But the whole side to the right is lost. That is the situation which may happen. It may reach a critical stage, critical mass, that the removal of any more material will cause the magma to rise and have a big eruption in the Merapi. This can be more dangerous than what it has been up to now. It has been generously kind up to now.